Yo, what up? This is Dart Adams here with none other than Prodigy, the man from Mob Deep. What's up, kid? The infamous. Hi. Right. You know, um, living legend. Um, you might know him. He's um, from Hempstead, Long Island. Uh, you might know him through his affiliations in Queensbridge, uh, Mob Deep, formerly Political Prophets. Um, man, what do you attribute to your longevity in the game, sir? Oh, uh, man, just. I think it has something to do with, in the beginning, me and Havoc always had this plan that, uh, you know, we wanted to be known as the dudes that did it the longest out of anybody. Like, that was always in our mind from the beginning. We used to always talk about that, uh, talk about that with each other in the studio, just having consistency. And I think it started from... You know, when we put our first album, Juvenile Hell, it didn't do good in the market. It, it sold like 12,000 copies or whatever, whatever. Didn't perform good in the marketplace and we got dropped. And it kind of was like heartbreaking for us. We were young kids and we wanted to be, you know, rap stars. So that was like heartbreaking for us. And we went right back to the studio though. We didn't let it destroy us. You know what I mean? We was like, hold up, we gotta try harder because we have a story to tell. And like, and it's ill and it's different and unique than anything else that's out there. So let's really regroup, let's do this the right way and uh, tell our story the correct way because we're not going to get this chance again. This is it. We already blew our first chance. Yeah. You, know, you only get one time to make a first impression, but we was like, fuck that. You know what I mean? We're going to do this the right way and we're going to do this the right way from now on. Yeah. So that embedded in our mind, like just that longevity was important for us for us to be able to be consistent, have longevity, and really make that um, a key point or a key thing. When people talk about Mob Deep, they say, yo, they did it for so long. They keep dropping albums and it never really went sold sold out or, or like fell off. Like, you know, the quality of the music was always there with the beats, with the lyrics. Like, that was our whole thing. So that's where that comes from. All right. So. Being that you have all this longevity in the game, you've done everything. Um, Mob Deep's had an amazing career, great uh, back catalog, discography. Your solo efforts also fall in line the same way. But um, right now we're at MIT where you just had a lecture and you were talking about uh, your time uh, pre, in, and post incarceration and your feelings about the uh, American justice system, especially like the the jail industrial complex, right? right? So what brought you to the space where you're lecturing at MIT? How did that come about? Or just lecturing in general? Um, it, it's just something important for me to, I wanna have these dialogues and these conversations with people, you know, um, mm -hmm. whether it's at MIT, whether it's on the block, whether it's anywhere. I just like having these dialogue and conversations with people about, you know, the world politics, health, religion, just everything. I like to talk to people and get their opinions on things and for them to ask me my opinions on things. And I think that's important, like communication is important. And um, it, it actually helps people when they walk away, they have new outlook on things. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like I, I'm walking away with a new way of looking at certain things and you know, how to improve myself for the next time we talk and with with whoever, so it's like, but um, to be here at MIT, like especially, is like amazing for me because you know this is like one of the top, if not the top, school in the country, like you know, and um, is in the world, like so it's just like to be here is, is amazing for for them to invite me here to yeah. speak to students. I'm a high school dropout. Yeah, I dropped out my first year of high school mm -hmm. to do hip hop, so it's amazing that. They actually want me here and want to hear my opinions and my views on life and just certain things. So it's a, it's a beautiful thing to me. I love I love having these conversations yeah. with anybody. Though, it's, you a, know? it's a new world, man. Yeah, I, yeah. Like a month and a half ago, I was at Harvard and I saw Nas get a medal. Wow. A medal from Harvard. That's and him. He also a high school dropout. Yeah. Also, you know, Queens guy. But it's a new world and. It's amazing to see cats like I grew up with reading the source when like unsigned hype speaking 
at MIT, which yeah. is like right across the bridge from me. Crazy. Man. And it's a testament to you, it's a testament to everything you've done in the game, it's a yeah. testament to what you mean to the culture. Mm -hmm. So I want to thank you. Yeah, thank you, man. Well, mm -hmm. thanks. Good talk Appreciate that. Appreciate it. And um, any music coming up? Yeah, definitely. I got an album about to drop called Hegelian Dialectic. That's going to be crazy. It'll be out in a few months. Look out for that. And uh, we're working on the next Mall Deep album. It'll be out there real soon. Um, it's the anniversary of Hell on Earth. We're going to yeah. drop it. So uh, that'll be like the end of 2016. It'll be coming out the next month. Right? So yeah, look out for all of that, man. It's going down. We we not stopping no time soon. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Prodigy, living legend. Thanks. Appreciate it, sir. Thank you. All right, yo. One. Yo, check this out, man. It's Prodigy from the infamous Mob Deep, the H and I C. You heard head nigga in charge, and you checking out any hip hop? Keep it locked right here.